What's up everybody? Welcome to some Vada. Black White Control. Hope you are excited. Now, as far as opening hand goes, we've got the Shrine, Scrubland, Tainted Field. Yeah, we'll keep on this. We do have a Swamp and, yeah, some great uh, little utility creatures and Mortify to kind of take care of anything they get out there. That sounds like a plan. Let's get the graveyard popped up. There we go. And then I'll kind of cover our commanders once our opponent sees, uh, decides if they want to mulligan past six or not. Hopefully they don't. Okay. Looks like they do not. Um, let's go ahead and actually we do want to get down Mother of Runes down. So let's go and get these Scrabbling down. Let's get down Mother of Runes. We're going to tap for white. Anything else. We're going to go and pass the turn. Uh, we are playing Vana, Vigilance and Lifelink. Tap, pay seven life. Destroy target non-land permanent. Activate this ability only during your turn. And then we draw into Urborg. Um, let's go and get the Tainted Field down. That way we're not having to shock him with the uh, Godless Shrine. Let's go for Stoneforge Mystic. And then we'll kind of see what we're going to search up. We are playing against Grixis, so anything that's going to give us protection from one of those colors would be a great option for us to grab the Stoneforge Mystic. Or, worst case scenario, if we want to grab something like Lightning Greaves and then start swinging with Vana, uh, we can go for that. Let's get the Stoneforge down. Yes, we're going to use that ability. And then let's go ahead and, I guess, sort of Feast and Famine? Gets black. Yeah, I like that. Let's go Sword of Feast and Famine. Get that to the hand, and then do we want to go and swing in for one? Yeah, every point of damage matters in a match like this. Let's go and swing in for one. But if they, you want to use some sort of removal on Mother Runes, go for it. Um, then swing in for one, and then pass the turn. Uh, we're playing against Marchesa, the Black Rose, Dethrone. Other creatures you control have Dethrone. Then, whenever a creature you control with a plus one counter and it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. And then Dethrone is whenever a creature attacks a player with the most, or tied for the most life, put a plus one counter on it. Alright, opponent's going for the Rune Raider, which is a new card from Exelon, so it's kind of cool to see that in some of the new commander decks. The beginning of your end step, if you attack with a creature this turn, reveal the top card, put in your hand, lose life, converted mana cost. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's see what we draw into. Draw into Pearl Medallion. Now we can tap out and get down the Sword of Feast and Famine, or we can simply just go for the Pearl Medallion. Or we could go for Mortify on the Rune Raider, just kind of keep that off the battlefield. And what sounds good? Now, we can pay two to get it down, but we can't equip it. Um, let's go ahead and yeah, let's just go for the Pearl Medallion. See if we can't get a reduced cost on Vana. I think we're okay with them swinging across. It's almost like I'd rather kind of hold on to Mortify for uh, Queen Marchesa, to be honest. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, Godless Shrine down. I'm not going to pay two on this one. Then I think we'll just go ahead and pass the turn. Yeah, if they want to swing in with the Rune Raider, what we can do is declare Stoneforge a blocker and then give it protection from black, and that way we can kind of stop that 3-2 uh, from coming across. And then, uh, yeah, I just kind of like to hold on to Mortify. You know, if they do tap out for Marchesa. All right, opponent cracks the Verdant Catacombs. Okay, opponent's going for a hostage taker, and sorry about that, I, I felt like I was about to sneeze, so I kind of paused the mic for a second. Alright, to see who they're going to target with the hostage taker, either way, we're going to have Mother of Runes to give her protection, uh, so we're going to be okay to get out from underneath this hostage taker, they're not really going to be able to steal anything. Uh, exile target creature or artifact, so if they, go for, if they go for the pearl medallion, they'll get the pearl medallion, but I think that's probably not going to be the... Uh, one of the best options for them to go through with, with hostage taker, unless they just want to take it away from us, that's fine. Yep, uh, we will be able to go for Mortify on the Hostage Taker, but we don't really need it that bad, so it's not the uh, not the end of the world if they take that. But yeah, sorry for that random pause or the edit in the video. I had to, uh, I felt like I was going to sneeze, but I could not sneeze. All right, put a swing in with the Rune Raider. Um, let's go ahead and target creature. We'll just go ahead and give the uh, Stoneforge Mystic protection from black. Let's go ahead and block. That would stop the three from coming. They will get that raid trigger, so we'll kind of pop that up and see what they uh, flip off of that since they did attack with a creature. Carrion Feeder, okay. And then let's see what else. Drawn to Dark Tutelage. Dark Toot. Um, <laughs> that always makes me laugh I think of Dark Tutelage. Um, do we want to go? We can get down Stoneforge Mystic and equip. We'll have protection from black and green. Get the untap step. That'll put us in. I think I do like that. Um, let's go ahead and tap the Stoneforge Mystic. That's going to be white and black. It's going to put the Sword and Feast and Famine down. Let's put it onto the Mother of Runes. That way we'll swing in, we'll have protection from black, and get around that hostage taker. And they'll make them discard a card, and then we'll get to untap all of our lands and get down uh, Dark Tutelage, or simply just leave up a Mortify. Alright, they're going to have to discard a card. Let's get the uh, Carrion Feeder popped down just a little bit. Definitely want to keep that in mind, so we'll kind of put that over there. 
And then we have the Sword of Feast and Famine triggered where they're going to have to discard a card. So we'll see if they chunk off that. Untap our lands. And I guess technically if we wanted to, we could go for Aven Mind Sensor if we want to watch out for another fetch land. They've already run through two fetch lands, so I'm not sure. Um, I I'm almost tempted to go ahead and just get down Dark Tutelage. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Um, they're one colored source away from Marchesa. They did chunk an Is It Boiler Works. And then we do have the most life total, too. Uh, yeah, I think we, we kind of want to keep that. Um, yeah, I'd like leaving up Mortify on this one. That, that's fine. We'll leave up Mortify. Worst case scenario, uh, we'll just flash an Aven Mind Sensor and then kind of go from there. And then hopefully we hit the land drop next turn and we get down Vana and start going for those activations and really kind of clean the board up. But uh, yeah, we just kind of want to keep that game, th uh, not game thrown. <laughs> we want to keep that dethrone off the battlefield because whenever it attacks with that plus one counter on it, that's kind of going to, you know, we're at 30. Not that we need to preserve our life total, but um, those plus one counters do add up pretty quick. Let's see how our opponent's tapping out. That's going to be one, two, three. More than, well, they did, we didn't see blue off the uh, water. Well, they might be retapping. There we go. This might be Queen Marchesa. Okay. And then what we're going to do is do this at the beginning of combat. Let's go for uh, Mortify, Destroy Queen Marchesa. It's going to be colorless. And then we'll just go and leave that path to exile then pass it over to our opponent. So if they want to swing in, uh, more than likely they will because we still have the uh, Sword of Feast and Famine coming across next turn. So if we do get the land drop, we can at least get down Dark Tutelage. Oh, beautiful. We do. Let's get the uh, sword down. Let's go for Dark Tutelage. Yeah, we're at 25. Huh? We, we can do this in a heartbeat. All right, so let's go and swing in for three. I think we're just going to swing in with Mother of Runes on this one. We're going to swing in with stone for Yeah, they're at 15. Why not? Let's go. Let's get as much damage as we can. All right. Let's go and swing in. Uh, deal that damage. We're going to have to discard a card. We're going to untap a card. Let's go and cross that Dark Confidant off. And let's go and go for Vana. It's going to be one, two, white. All right. Anything else? No, we're going to go and pass this turn. Now, we are kind of open to some sort of spot removal on Vana. And you know, if they do have it, uh, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. We st we're still on this uh, Mother of Runes game plan beat sticks, which is kind of nice. And they also, we have Vana on the battlefield with that Vigilance 4 4 lifelink. So if they do want to swing in, they can't get down Queen Marchesa to get that Dean Throne dethrone trigger uh, that will make the rune raider a 4-3 uh, but at least with the hostage taker being a 3-4 we can chunk block with vana and still get that uh, that lifelink activated ability and i think they're tapping out for queen marchesa this may be it oh yeah if that's it i, I really do like this play because that puts us in a spot next turn to go vana and then uh, kind of take care of queen marchesa so they're gonna get the dethrone but we're at um we're at 15 at this point right now and then Vana, yeah, I'm okay with that block. We'll gain the life link, so it'll basically kind of just negate that uh, that Rune Raider trigger. Okay. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, bummer. Wait, did we? Okay. The Queen Marchesa is going to come back. Yep. <laughs> I walked right into that one. Dang it. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. All right. Hostage takers are going to come back. Then go for Vana. <laughs> dang it. I was like, as soon as like that trigger popped up, I was like, uh, oh, dang it. But they are at five, so and we do have protection from black. Um, toxic Deluge. Okay, we can clean the board up. Let's get the Bloodstained Mire. Yeah, sometimes that happens. That's a bummer. Um, let me flash an Aven Mind Sensor. Protection from black. It'll be 2-1. Let's go just go and swing in with the crew. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's go swing in with Mother Runes. We do have that protection from black. Swinging in, and then we'll go and flash in Aven Mind Sensor. Oh, if we're going to go for Toxic Deluge, oh, we don't have to really worry about them doing too much. Oops. Untap that land. All right, swinging in, we do have protection from black. That's going to be all of their creatures over there. So they can't really stop it, and that's going to be an extra trigger. They have to discard a card. They do have the Flanked Time Cavu, which they can go for. Put them down to two, and then anything else. Now, if we go for Toxic Deluge, it's going to clear the entire board up. Um... Yeah, we'll just go and let that come through. I think we're okay with that. We'll just hold on to Toxic Deluge if we need to. And that Sword of Feast and Famine, we do have protection. So that, um, depending on how they sequence that Flank Tongue Cavu, uh, since we do have Flying with the Aven Mind Sensor, what we can do is just kind of shift the uh, Sword of Feast and Famine onto the Aven Mind Sensor and swing in. Uh, they don't really have any way to kind of deal with it in the air. Or if they leave Mother Runes on the battlefield, uh, we can kind of get that going. All right, see what they're going for. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Flank Tongue Cavu, okay. That'll be one more. See so they target. You go for Mother of Runes on this. 
Now, we can either equip the Sword of Feast and Famine onto the Avian Mind Sense, which will be able to fly past our opponent's creatures, or we can equip it onto the Stoneforge Mystic, and then we'll be in a good position to kind of swing past that. They do get down the Carrion Feeder and the Flanktown Cavu. <laughs> but dang it, yeah, I walked right into that Hostage Taker uh, <laughs> exile. And I was like, swing in. I was like, why would he swing in? We have Vana. We can stop it. And then I was like, oh yeah, dang it. But, hey. Sometimes when you don't, uh, I don't know, when you give commentary sometimes, sometimes you get into a spot where you kind of forget about little stuff like that. All right, the swinging in for 12. It's going to put us down to 13. It's going to be four total commander damage, and then they are completely tapped out. We do have to watch out for something like snuff out, I guess, technically. Um, Queen Marchesa on the carrion feeder. Put a plus one counter on it. Oh, well, they can actually go for the hostage taker activation if they want to. Uh, we don't have a way to go for haste. That's going to bring it, put a plus one counter on it, bring it back. Now, these creatures don't have, um, and they take care of the hostage taker. Okay. And they still have flank tongue, protection from black. Okay. We're not, it's not done yet, but we can kind of get around it. We'll see what we can go for. Draw into Mindstone, and then we draw into Odric. <sighs> Vigilance, lifelink, we get that down with Odric. So, what we can do, since these creatures don't have a plus one counter on it, we can simply just go Toxic Deluge for a nice chunk of damage. Get a plus one counter on it. I think that's it's going to kind of clear the board up and then put us in a spot where we can go for it next turn. That sounds good. Let's go and go for Toxic Deluge. So if we put the sword on there right now, they just chump block with this, uh, the Flank Tone Cavu. That goes to the graveyard. They get a plus one counter on the Carrion Feeder. Now what we do is we have to watch out for the Carrion Feeder. Um, we have to pay. That's going to be at least one, two, three, four. So that's going to be four more counters on there. This goes to seven. So we almost need to pay about eight, which can put us down to about three. If we want to make sure that the carrying feeder stays off the battlefield. Yeah, let's go and go for that. Let's go for Toxic Deluge. And we do have the Pearl Medallion out there, too. Yeah, because we don't. I almost want to equip the, uh, the Pearl Medallion on the Odric. So let's go and tap out. That's going to be black. One, two... And let's go ahead, and that's going to be, they sack, let's say, one, two, three, four, four more creatures, uh, four plus, uh, that's going to be seven. So let's just go and pay seven on this. That'll be just enough with the carrion feeder. Okay, they go down to one. Um, we still have the um, even mind sensor. We can't swing in with it at this point right now. Uh, let's go ahead and crack the, actually, we have Urborg out there. So let's go ahead and get the an Odric. That's going to be white. Get that down, and then we're going to go and swing in. And the Queen Marchesa is going to come back and they get back the uh, Carrion Feeder. So if they want to swing in for one, they can. Uh, the important thing is that we have Hostage Taker off the battlefield and Rune Raider. They have three cards in hand. We'll see exactly what they have going on. Um, worst case scenario, once again, we have a Flyer in the air. We have Odric coming back with the uh, each creature gains whatever. So Odric's going to be able to gain that flying. And we'll see what they kind of have to show for it. Worst case scenario, we're just going to get down Vana. Uh, we have more than enough mana to get down Vana and then have that uh, lifelink ability. And hopefully... Uh, Give us a spot where we can kind of take care of it from there. Now, we do have Dark Tutelage. We have to watch out for Dark Tutelage. That's going to be... Uh, that'll be kind of interesting. We're at four life. <laughs> now, they they are at... <laughs> they do have Active Dethrone with uh, Marchesa and... Because uh, we're at four and they're at one. So, we'll see, see exactly what they're going for. But hopefully, fingers crossed that Dark Tutelage is going to be a land off that. Okay, they're tapping out for three. Let's see what they're going for on this one. Either way, it's been a nice match. Man, I just wish we had not had... Um, Flying in first strike, okay. And that's going to be one, two, three. They can't tap the Ancient Tomb, so that puts them on one more mana. Flying in first strike. Okay, get down Cavern of Souls. Now on this one, if they swing in the whole crew, and we just let... They're going to gain Flying in first strike. No, excuse me, they're just going to gain Flying. And they swing in with the Carrion Feeder. Dethrone, get a plus one counter. That's going to be two, and that's going to be four. <sighs> Okay. Protection. Either way, we have Sword of Feast and Fame and Protection from Black. Let's go ahead and go block on that, and we'll go and block on Odric. That's going to be a 3-3 three, three coming across. Actually, I just like going Aven Mind Sensor. If they want to, they can sacrifice a couple more creatures. Actually, we do need to declare a blocker. Yeah, because they sack two creatures, that's going to be a 4-4, four, four, and that'll be lethal. And then they're going to have to sack and they'll leave Avon Mind Sensor. Okay. I like that. Let's go Avon Mind Sensor on Marchesa. And then Odric on Carrion Feeder. Okay. 
Now, if they want to, they're going to have to sacrifice Drana to put the plus one counter on uh, Carrion Feeder to take care of it. They will have flying up top, but exactly what they go for. So that's going to we're going to trade on that one. That'll leave Queen Marchesa, and then that's going to bring Carrion Feeder back to the battlefield. Okay. And let's see what we flip off the Dark Tutelage. Frexy Arena! <laughs> Oblation! Okay. Um, let's see. What can we do? Now, if we draw something like Exsanguinate, that would be absolutely perfect. Um, but we need to draw some cards. And we can't swing in with Vana. Let's go ahead and go for Oblation on... Dark Tutelage? I think that sounds good. Draw a couple cards. Let's see if we get song. We'll read the bones. That's not exactly it. Let's get down. Excuse me. Let's get down the Temple of Silence. Um, we're at one. Get the scribe. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, get opposite at. Or a little too late opposite at. Yeah, I think our opponent's got this one. We're both sitting at one life. I'm trying to think. I don't know what we can do as one, but we'll just we'll go and draw a couple more cards. But I, I don't think we can get out from underneath this. All right. Draw a card. Yeah, because we get down Vaughn. Yeah, good game. <laughs> uh, we should have never blocked on that hostage taker. The hostage taker tricked us into it. Good game. We're going to scoop it up. Yeah, like swing it. We could have got down Vana. That'd be vigilance and lifelink. But that carrying feeder is going to be hard for us to kind of go from that. But yeah, definitely a good game from our opponent. Should have been so careless with the hostage taker. But hey, sometimes you have to get paid for your mistakes, and that's definitely what happened to us. So uh, swing it with that hostage taker. Got to take care of Vana before we got to get those activations going. So, but hey, that's Commander. Mistakes happen, and they're happy little mistakes sometimes. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.